going on you guys welcome back for another boss babe episode thank you for tuning in and watching and being here your support is always appreciated today's topic we're going to talk about how to grow your instagram and kind of tips and tricks that i have used to build up my instagram following to where it can really benefit my business since my main income is youtube but i do use other things like twitter and snapchat and instagram to help grow my business and connect with other people on social media and i know this has been a huge requested topic in my boss babe series um, I know I'm trying to like shorten my intros lately because some of you guys don't like the ramble But I just want to say really quickly my very last boss babe episode about how to make a living on YouTube did so extremely well And I have to thank you guys so many of the comments were so positive and you were so appreciative on Kind of all the intimate details I shared about how to get paid on YouTube and do affiliate marketing I know so many of you have now found my channel through that video So I know we have lots of new people here. So I just want to say hey I really appreciate your support and I'm very happy to have you. So with the Boss Babe series, as you guys know, it's all about me sharing absolutely anything that I have learned over the years regarding organization, budgeting, finance, how to better my credit, how to make a living on social media. I always promised myself if I ever got to a level with social media where I could make it my full time and truly support myself, any knowledge that I've learned, I would share with other people. So that's really the mission of the whole Boss Babe series and it's just truly like warms my heart even though it sounds corny and makes me so happy that so many of you are receiving this information well and then you're gonna go use it to grow your blog or your Instagram or your Facebook or your business like that's just incredible to me so refer to my last video if you want to make a living on YouTube I shared lots of details about that but for today I've actually um, made a list on my phone of my top 10 tips on how to grow your Instagram so when I very first started my Instagram it was completely for personal use it was before I was even doing YouTube or had even considered YouTube as a job I wasn't making an Instagram account to like make money or do sponsors or anything like that I was just posting pictures really bad quality pictures <laughs> like on my iPhone 4 I think I started it like probably six years ago uh, I was just posting like pictures of family and stuff like that and that was it uh, but one of the times when I remember the most growth in my Instagram whenever I had switched it to wanting it to align with my YouTube and I knew that I now wanted to use that platform as something for business I remember I was right underneath 5,000 followers and I had over 15,000 within a month later whenever I decided to use Instagram as something like I said to align with my YouTube and to make it like a business social media that I had so I was able to triple a little bit over triple my following within 30 days and a lot of you have asked me like how I've grown my Instagram I do not claim to be like a pro. I don't have millions of followers or anything, but for the following that I do have, I have a lot of you guys who are engaged. It's one thing if you buy your followers or you have two or 300,000 following on Instagram, but every time you post a picture, no one comments, no one DMs you. If you do a sponsorship, you're not gonna get people, you're not gonna be able to drive business. In my opinion, you really need to have followers that are engaged. A top tip that I also have that I've utilized myself for years, which I really feel like helps you get a following that's engaged and like commenting back and forth, like I said, makes it feel like a community, is whenever you post pictures in your caption, I would ask questions. Don't just post like a simple selfie and maybe have like a quote. I mean, that's fine, you know, from time to time. I do that as well. But I would definitely ask open-ended questions in the uh, description in your, what am I saying? In your settings of the picture so that people are prompted to then comment then other people will see their comments and then when people go to their Instagram feed, whenever it shows you who likes your photos and then it shows like the activity of the people you follow, other people will see your pictures there when other people, when like multiple users comment on your stuff, it pops up in other people's timeline and feed is what I'm saying. The more engaged people are with your post, the farther up it will go on Instagram's new algorithm and be shown on the timeline. And then you have much more of a chance to be on the Instagram top or popular page. More people are able to see your page and then realize that they wanna follow you. Another thing, do not ever have your page private if you're trying to be a business or drive sales or associate it with your YouTube. Always keep your page public. I would personally post at the right times. There's a specific app called Icono Square, which I can leave below, and it actually tells you the prime time to post on Instagram for the most likes and the most engagement. So when I first heard about this, I really didn't understand it. I thought, why can't I just post on my Instagram at whatever time I want? And of course you still can, but there are like statistics that prove if you post at a certain time at like the prime time for your area, 
For example, I live in United States, California, so around 4.30 to 5.30 p.m., I will get significantly more likes whenever I post a photo than if I were to post at like 10 or 11 a.m. I know if you live on the East Coast, the prime time is around 8 to 8.30 p.m., and just for whatever reason, there's thousands and thousands more people on their iPad or their phone at that time actively using Instagram, so they're able to see your photo and like it. I'm gonna leave that app down there in the description box for you guys called Icono Square. It just gives you tons of details based upon where you live, what location, and when is the prime time to post on Instagram, especially if you're trying to make Instagram your business or do a sponsored post. If a company is paying you to shout out a product and you wanna drive sales, it's gonna be a huge difference if your post is seen by 500 people or it's seen by 3,000. So that is also a huge tip I have and I can attest to the fact that that's worked for me. But when I mentioned to you guys that I was doing this video today, one of the main questions I got was if you're very first starting your Instagram and you literally have zero followers, what are the best tips to start? How do you literally get anyone to see your page if you literally have no followers? And one of my best tips is you need to decide what your page is going to be about for business whether that's beauty, fashion, DIY, pick kind of your theme. Then I would post a few, like I said, HD quality photos around the right prime time. Then I would go to the search section on Instagram and search in the tag section. With whatever category you're posting about, you wanna find other accounts that post about the same thing. So say it's DIY, I would search hashtag DIY, find some other accounts that have a similar follow count as you. Like if you're just starting out and you have like between 10 and 100 followers, find another smaller account like that. Go through, like some of their pictures. I would DM them, ask if they wanna team up on an Instagram collab. Same thing with YouTube when I was first starting out. Collaborations and being friends with other people helps you so, so much. Like yes, you can work so hard and do social media kind of on your own, but it really is gonna benefit you to have friends on social media who are doing the same thing that you're doing and you guys believe in each other's work and you're able to shout each other out. It's really cool now with the new Instagram feature where you can post a picture and you can swipe to the right and show other pics. So like if you did a collab with someone, you could post your picture with your caption and tell your audience to swipe right and then you can have a picture of the other person you're doing a collab with. So I think especially at the beginning when you have no following at all, it's great to kind of join the following that you do have with someone else and that will easily gain your numbers up in your following. So I also jotted down a few of my favorite Instagram apps which I have used to get my photos and in the best quality possible and also put out videos on my Instagram. So I wanted to share a few of them with you guys. Of course, I'll link everything down below. Uh, one of them is called Hyperlapse and on that one you can put like an epic video on your Instagram. Now on Instagram you can make a video that's up to a minute long. This will give you different colors, transitions. It just makes the video overall kind of look like a little movie and that really draws people in when they see great content on your page, they're gonna wanna follow you. Um, another one of my favorites is called Party Party, which is just on the App Store. You do have to have an iPhone for that one. On that one, you can make a little GIF and you can change the color. Um, you can change the quality. You can do it like rainbow. That always looks really cool. Another one of my favorites is Diptych. I used to use this one all the time when I was posting food pictures or if you're a fitness account and you wanna show what you eat in a day, on this one it'll give you a border on the picture and you can customize if you want it broken up into four squares or eight squares. You could put like a little picture of each meal you had that day in the boxes. I mean, you could also do it with anything else, like beauty products, anything. It's just a really cool collage app and it's also free. So in addition to posting on like the prime time on Instagram, I would make sure you're consistent on that. So say you decide that for your geographical range, like 5 p.m. is the best consistent time, I would post a new picture at 5 p.m. every day so that your audience knows, hey, I can go to this person's account and they're gonna have new fresh content at the same time every day. Consistency is totally key. I know the girls I follow for inspiration and like girl boss tips and the kind of accounts that I follow, I'm always super excited to go to their page whenever I know that they are a daily poster so then I'll have something new to read. So always be sure to make sure all of your social media accounts align. If you have Instagram, Snap, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you have, Say you make a new post on Instagram and you want it to get the most engagement possible, hop on your Snapchat and be like, hey guys, I just made an awesome post on my Instagram. You know, I think it's really inspirational or I would love to share this knowledge with you guys. I'd love if you go check it out and kind of direct them over there because even if someone does consistently follow you, sometimes your posts may get lost in the new Instagram algorithm. So sometimes it's nice to just give people a little extra push back to your account and like let them know that you've posted something. So another thing I mentioned quickly, but just to go into it, you do wanna tag your photos. 
Uh, I was reading a statistic through Google that said there is millions and millions of Instagram tags that are utilized every single day on every post. That's how brands look for influencers to work with. If you are wanting to work with a beauty brand and you create an eyeshadow look you know, with a certain company's products, you always want to tag that company, the, uh, exactly like what that product is called, the product shade, the product name, tag the Instagram's actual account. But we all know that we don't like captions on Instagram that are miles and miles long because it gets really annoying. So what I would do is post your regular caption underneath your photo on Instagram. Then you're going to leave a comment on your own picture with all of the like paragraph of likes bundled in there. So it doesn't attach to your description and make it super long. But then brands and stuff, those tags will still be active. So the brands can still see what tags you put on that post, but it won't make your caption itself like ridiculously long and annoying. But also check through Google maybe like once a month month what are the top hashtags that you want to put uh, underneath all of your pictures because they are constantly changing when I first started Instagram I know like the number one hashtag was selfie or insta daily insta selfie stuff like that and now it's four years five years later it's completely changed and they're constantly changing based on trends that are happening and trends are always changing so I would definitely just be aware and always look up what are the new top hashtags because that gives you a much better chance of someone finding your profile also pretty much my number one tip, I can't believe I didn't talk about this first, be engaged with your audience. This is my number one tip on YouTube as well, which I have tried very, very hard to maintain no matter what amount of following I have got to. I think being close and genuine and engaged with your audience means so much more than having a certain amount of followers that like you're not even close with. So especially on Instagram, when you're first starting out your account, when you have a smaller number of, fo of followers, it's so much easier to do this. So there's no excuse not to. Every single time someone leaves a comment on my picture, I try to write them back to every single comment. I mean, if you guys have, I mean, now I think I'm almost at like 70K on Instagram and I still do it and I want to do it because it does make me feel like I have that more closer connection with you guys and I feel like, like I said, like I have a following that's engaged and I'm very thankful and grateful for that. And I think if you have a realistic amount of followers to where you can keep up with all the comments every day, that is gonna benefit you so, so much in the long run. Anytime someone DMs you or comments on your picture, I would right away just be like, thank you so much for supporting. Go check out their page, maybe like some of their pictures, make their day. Um, yeah, number one thing is just staying engaged, especially when people take their time to give you feedback on your account. I just, I think it's so important that you always say thank you and just comment back if you can. I think that's gonna do it for this video. I know this has been a very long, chatty, rambly one, but that's nothing new. Just wanna try to give you guys as much information per video as possible, if that makes sense. So if you stayed to the end, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm absolutely loving all the positivity on the Boss Babe series lately, and it's just really got me so inspired and fired up to create more videos like this for you guys. So again, if you're new to my channel, I'll link the whole my whole Boss Babe uh, playlist down below. I have videos regarding everything, organization, finance, how to save money, how to better your credit. Like I said, my last video was on making social media your full-time job. If you need help on that, you can reference that. Feel free to leave a comment below of whatever topic you would like in the next video. If there's anything that you're struggling with in life or that you just need resources and help on, I would love to be a resource for you. And I'm always scrolling through every comment and jotting down whatever you guys wanna see. So definitely let me know. Also too, I always take suggestions on my, why did I pause, on my social media. So be sure to add me on Snapchat. Um, I also do tons of like chatty ramble stuff on there and I show you like my day with my son. So be sure to add me on Snapchat and Instagram. I will have those linked below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube here as well, duh. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.